How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel as you guys know Samsung has recently released the One UI 7 beta and even though I've already made a couple of videos showing some of the best new features and animations of One UI 7 there are some more useful hidden One UI 7 features that you may not know about so if you own any Samsung phone and waiting for the One UI 7 update to arrive then I'm sure you'll learn something new and useful from this video make sure you watch it until the very end Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. All right guys, first let me show you a couple of new battery settings that have been updated in One UI 7. If you go into your phone settings, then select battery. Here when you scroll down, you will get this all new auto dim screen toggle. This basically dims your phone screen when the battery goes down to 5%. Previously we never had any such option to control the brightness when the battery gets down to 5% or below but now you can decide whether you want this feature to be enabled or not when you turn this on you will not have any control over the brightness and it will automatically dim your phone screen when the battery is below 5% but the good thing is now you can disable this option and manually control the brightness even if the battery is low since we are inside the battery there is one more new setting they have added When you go into the battery protection, we get three different modes which are already present in the previous version. But what's new here is when you select the maximum protection, we now can choose from different charging limits from 80% and it goes all the way up to 95%. So you can decide when you want the battery to stop charging. You can set it to 80, 85%, 90 or even go up to 95% as per your need. So this is something new and useful which can be found under the battery settings. Next up let's talk about the all new redesigned quick settings panel. So you might already know that this control center is fully customizable where you can move and rearrange any of these toggles as per your requirement. The problem is by default it only shows up to 8 tiles in your quick settings and if you want to access more you need to swipe down every time to get more tiles in the quick panel. This can be quite annoying that you can only have up to 8 tiles in a single swipe. But did you know there is a way to bring more toggles in the control center without having to swipe every time? All you need to do is just tap on this edit icon and here not only you can move different slides but you can also extend this quick settings section and expand it even more to get access to 12 or 16 tiles at once. After that just click on the save button that's it. Now when you open the quick settings page you will see a bunch of more toggles instead of just 8. So this is something which I'm sure not many of you know about and it definitely makes this new control center even more effective. When you try to search anything inside this setting menu, not only does it show all the recent searches, but if you scroll down, you can also see different topics right below the recent search. As you can see, we have so many different topics such as Galaxy AI, battery, screen, notifications, privacy, security, music and many more. When you click on any of these topics, for example, let me select battery, it will show all the settings related to the battery. Similarly, if I click on night, you can see we have got all the related settings like dark mode, do not disturb, eye comfort shield, and we also got the extra dim as well. This way, you can quickly search anything inside the settings page, and it will surely save a lot of your time as well. So when you search anything inside, just make sure to have a quick glance at all these topics which they have added in One UI 7. While taking screenshots, we now get this new smart select icon right below and with this feature, not only can you take some precise screenshots, but you can also insert images directly into your notes, copy text from the screenshots, draw sketches and objects using the S Pen and do lot more. This smart select feature was already there in the previous version, but you need to enable the H panel for this. With One UI 7, Samsung has integrated this feature inside the toolbar and you can access this handy tool whenever you take screenshots on your phone without having to open the H panel every time. I'm really glad they have added this useful shortcut and I'm sure now many of you will start using this amazing feature more often. Next, let me show you a couple of useful One UI 7 lock screen settings that you need to know about. With One UI 7, Samsung has changed the position of the notification icons and by default it is now located at the top right corner so when you update your phone to One UI 7 you will see all the icons at the top right and if you are someone who uses the S24 Ultra or any other phones with a bigger screen then it is going to be a bit difficult for you to reach and access these icons to fix this all you need to do is head over to the settings select notifications and then go inside lock screen notifications 
Here the notification style is set to icons by default and you just need to change it to cards. That's it. Now you'll have all the notifications right at the center just like the One UI 6.1 and it is much easier to access all your notifications. Another new lock screen feature is the suggestion icon which is available when you go into the lock screen customization screen. This basically gives you lock screen ideas based on the wallpapers you are currently using. So if you don't have enough time but still want to customize your lock screen then you can use this suggestion feature in One UI 7. That's pretty much it for this video. These are some hidden One UI 7 features and settings that every Samsung user needs to know about. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.